Good morning lovely people. This is the second day of trying to do this video. The first day I must have been talking for three minutes, two, three minutes and then my phone shut off because I didn't have enough storage. So I was talking for more than two or three minutes but the video was only two or three minutes long. I was talking to myself for the rest of it so so this is my video for the week it's a day late I do apologize it's a beautiful sunny day today the weather doesn't know it's from its elbow sunshine in my face um, we've had snow as you saw last week there was a little bit of snow well it got worse it got so bad that we were snowed in for a couple of days last week. Now I'm boiling. I need to take my coat off, but I'm driving and so I'm just going to suffer until I finish this video. Then I'll open my window. Um, <clears throat> anyway, catch up. What have I been doing? It was my husband's 60th birthday on Sunday and on Saturday the rain, uh, the rain, no it wasn't rain, the snow was still bad and still terrible and everybody was coming from, not everybody but a lot of people were coming for his birthday meal from the other side of the country which I know in America doesn't seem that far because we're only a tiny little island but we see a two or four hour drive as a long drive that's that's just how we are so anyway all my family came over and um, had a lovely had a lovely meal And um, we got really rowdy. My mum and dad stayed over that night. Come on, cars. My mum and dad stayed over that night. So they they were there for his actual birthday day on the Sunday. And he asked me to make Christmas dinner for his birthday, actual birthday meal. So, we had a Christmas dinner on Sunday, so we went out for a meal on Saturday and then they had Christmas dinner on Sunday. Now I don't know whether you know this, but I'm on a diet. Yes I am. I'm supposed to be dieting. Now, I didn't get weighed last week because I was at the seminar. So I did get weighed at the seminar, but I didn't get weighed on the scales that I usually get weighed on. <clears throat> and yesterday it was my first day in work of the week, so I didn't get weighed on the Tuesday. It's Wednesday today, by the way. I didn't get weighed on the Tuesday like I usually do. So that's two weeks without being weighed on my proper scales. I weighed myself on my home scales, and we all know, if you go back to my previous videos, that my scales and the scales that I usually get weighed on at the hospital are very similar or a little bit more because I think I've weighed myself before and said oh I think I've put a pound on I might have stayed the same I put a pound on and then I've lost a pound so there's there are, there, you know anyway I weighed myself yesterday morning but naked without anything in my belly meats and I had gained four pounds. Yay! So as of yesterday I have been my fitness palling. So I've done my fitness pal for one day and the beginning of today. I'm only supposed to be having 1200 calories a day. This is pre-op. God knows how many calories I'll be having post-op, no idea. But 
pre-op 1200 calories and I had 1099 calories yesterday so I did all right this morning all I've had is a bowl of rice krispies so 30 grams of rice krispies and half a cup of milk because <laughs> I weigh it out every bloody time I don't know whether you can hear that there's so much standing water because the snow's melted that I'm just driving through puddles all the time this country is not equipped to deal with extremes of weather we can't deal with extreme cold and we can't deal with extreme hot we are buggered whenever it's not just normal medium sized weather anyway Apparently I've heard this week that the reason why we haven't got anything in place for, for when we get extreme weather is because we get extreme weather so rarely that it's not financially viable to do, to put things in place, so we just have to struggle. It's, it's cheaper for the country to shut down, businesses to shut down for a couple of days than it is to put other procedures or situations in place to counteract extreme weather which is ridiculous anyway whatever my so last week I was supposed to have worked but we had to cancel work because it was dangerous for the kids to get to the school so and then obviously dangerous for us to get to the school because nobody has snow tires nobody has chains for the tires blah de blah de blah anyway <clears throat> that's me typical English person slagging off the weather there's a lovely dose of Britishness right there okay what's next to tell you my husband got a camera for his 60th and we went out when did we go out Monday <clears throat> the day after his birthday went out and took a few shots of are um, where we live which I might show you if I can figure out how to do it <laughs> I might put some pictures in here if, not, if they're not there it means I haven't figured it out um, what else have I got to tell you yeah put four pounds on uh, birthday snow going to work what else our bins didn't get collected uh -huh. never mind that hey oh and another thing <clears throat> so we had lots of snow and what happens when snow melts it turns to water and I think what happened was water got into our electricity substation that covers massive area and blew up like properly major incident blew up flames and everything our electricity went off when our electricity went off we realized that the alarm on the car no not the car the alarm in the house the backup battery is low and when the backup battery is low it sounds the alarm because it's run by mains power but when the mains power is cut it's got a battery to back it up now that battery is low so it... we ended up having to dismantle the uh, the main hub box of the alarm <laughs> just to shut it up oh so don't tell anybody but our house isn't alarmed now until we get a new battery it's, it's not empty as i'm filming this my husband's there so don't try robbing me just saying so yeah that's a 30 quid battery we need to get better than 
a new alarm system, I suppose. So, oh, out potholes, potholes in the roads. Why do we pay car tax? Bloody potholes. So yeah, that's about all I've got to tell you, really. Um, I've got to put another picture, photo. Uh, God Almighty, talk properly. I've got to put another painting on Art Finder this week. I might get him to take a picture of it on his new camera, new fangled dangle thing. See whether it makes makes it look beautiful. Um, that's about it really. Nothing much is happening. I'm eating a tiny little bit of food every day now until until I can um, well basically until I can see the consultant because I want to be the same or less than what I was the first time I went to see at the seminar otherwise I don't know whether they'll operate on me <gasps> okay right speak to you soon bye